Have you ever wanted to turn this into this? I've always been fascinated with the variety of custom keyboards you can get. Plastics, different alloys like aluminum, and even wood. But is it possible to make a keyboard out of concrete? Actually, yes, you can. It's actually been done before in the form of the Concrete 60. It's made from a company called Zama, and it's a concrete keyboard case. So yeah, it's actually been done before. But I am cheap, and so... We're doing it ourselves. But first, let's get back to where it all began. Back in July 2021, I did a thing where I poured concrete into a keyboard case to help its acoustics, which didn't really work. But ever since then, I thought, instead of having the concrete in the case, why not have the concrete be the case? And with that, I started planning and prototyping. And after three minutes of hard work, it is finally done. Among the- wait, no, that's the wrong thing. The plan. We will make a silicone mold out of an old keyboard case, pour the concrete into it, wait a few days, and boom, concrete keyboard. It was pretty simple. And yeah, that's the plan. Also, I spent so long working on this plan that I actually grew a mustache. Which means... It's time for Manscaped! Oh, okay, I know you're today's sponsor for the video, but could we just please tone it down a little? <laughs> Manscaped. Wait. <clears throat> Manscaped. Manscaped has once again sent over their performance package 4.0. This includes the lawnmower 4.0 and ball deodorant to not only make you feel good, but also smell good. I can say from personal experience, after shaving my head for the army, that this is one of the best shavers you can get, and also the safest with Manscaped skin safe technology. Manscaped. Manscaped also just released their new boxes 2.0 and with them you'll be getting both style and comfort and comfort being the new jewel pouch design a dedicated space to cradle your private parts which just feels great <laughs> Go to manscaped.com today and save 20% plus free international shipping if you use code SQUASHY at checkout That's 20% off manscaped.com with code SQUASHY so to begin this project, I got all the parts we need to start, but more importantly, we need these. These are two-part silicone mold. Basically what happens if you mix part A with part B, it turns into a mold. So we're going to be pouring that onto this case. It's a pretty old case, you've probably seen it in previous videos. And so it's going to be our sacrifice to make the mold. And with all that said, let's get started, shall we? That sounded so cringe, I should have said like, let us commence forth! So I mixed part A and part B together, and poured it into the makeshift mold. Oh, that's not enough. Oh no. So clearly two bottles isn't enough. I actually used three and a half bottles. So I'm using the heat gun to get rid of some of the bubbles that are stuck inside. And after heating up the mold, I had to wait six hours for it to dry. Bro, oh my god. Now you may notice the mold actually changed from a different box. And that is because the previous mold, the makeshift mold, kind of leaked. So it leaked. So yeah, I had to change it to this box. After taking out the mold, I had to cut out my keyboard because I spilled a bit and take it out of the silicone mold. Now this was my first time working with silicone, so I'm not really good at it. But yeah, here's the final result. <gasps> Whoa! No way! No way! Alright guys, so the keyboard mold is done. And it turned out a lot better than I expected. So all we have to do now is mix the concrete, pour it in, and wait two days. Alright guys, so it's actually been a week since I've made the pour. Finally dried, it actually takes about 24 to 48 hours for concrete to dry, but it cures within seven days. So it's been seven days. I'm kind of scared to actually open it because it has been kind of brittle at the side. So yeah, the worst thing that could happen is probably the thing cracking into half, but let's hope it doesn't. And so I pried open my keyboard from the mold. You know, I'm a pretty strong guy and this keyboard was just not coming out. Oh. No way. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> Yo. Damn. So guys, to my surprise, it actually worked. I half expected it to just crack into half while I was taking it out, but I mean it's here and it is a unit. Dude, the amount of detail that this keyboard has is actually... It's actually pretty good. It even has the USB port which I expected to drill myself because there's no way concrete can be this accurate, right? So yeah, I didn't actually expect this to work, so I didn't really buy parts to make this keyboard. I'm just gonna use some stuff laying around my room and just finish it, I guess. I had some Holy Panda X lying around. And also this GMK white on black Katakana edition. It's actually a really nice set, it's linked below. 
And so guys, after all this time spent, the planning plan and the prep work prepped, all the accumulated hard work has led to this moment. Ladies and guys, I proudly present to you the Concrete 60. Made by me, Concrete Man. <laughs>